All over the world, people are trying to connect back to the land, connect back to where their food is coming from. I came out here straight from the Bronx, and this was something that inner city kids were doing just as well as kids out in the prairie. People want to know where their food comes from, and they want to touch the land. People want an experience of something real, and growing food is real. When you can put a seed in the ground, take care of it, harvest food, and then put it into your body. That's something so natural, I think, for people to experience. I'm uh, Mike Preet. I'm the director for the Redco Food Sovereignty Initiative here on the Rosebud Reservation. We are in Mission, South Dakota, next to uh, Turtle Creek Crossing Grocery Store on the site of the future Kewakapala Waichagiapi, which is a large green community development project Redco is undergoing. We had our 142nd annual Rosebud Fair and Rodeo recently, and that brings back some deep-rooted culture and traditions. And I think from the powwow, the rodeo, the softball games, we have a carnival, all those types of activities that bring people together, there's kind of the same concept here in that we're trying to get people together to go back to some of the things that were important years ago to our people for self-sustainability, not only as an individual, but as a tribe itself. Through these garden projects, getting the youth and the elders together so that we can have a positive outlook, a positive outcome in producing something that is locally grown, that is harvested and available, not only for a few select people, but for a community as well. And to take those teachings and pass them on, not only to just the people that are involved here so that they learn, but they can also take it to their family members, to their communities, wherever they may be, and they can share their knowledge so that it grows and grows and grows. I'm Mary Scott. I work with the Natural Resources Conservation Service as a tribal liaison here on the Rosebud Indian Reservation in South Central South Dakota. I'm fourth generation rancher on the reservation. My generations before me were still learning and I hope to pass it on to future generations here as well. Uh, we're growing our own produce. Um, we're also learning how to go out into um, different communities and do wild food harvest buffalo harvest. Traditionally, you know, our, our food is everything. The buffalo is everything to us. We used every part of it. Same thing with, uh, with what we gathered. That was our secondary source of food. But I think that's important, especially with this, the Keawakbala Community Garden, is people know what's coming from. The elders and the, the children are so important. The youth in tying everything together having them out here and having the heart and the passion and the excitement, it just inspires you.